I'm Nick Holmes and I'm a freelance illustrator. I first got into art seriously was about the age of 15. I'd always been drawing for since I was a little kid, but I mean every little kid draws, every little kid plays football, every little kid does that kind of thing. But it was about the age of 15 when I really started to consider this is something I could do as a career, this is something I could do when I leave school. Because when you're an artist, it's so much more personal, you can really kind of push your own voice into your work. Being an illustrator, you kind of tend to be working towards a brief, working towards what a client wants, so it's a lot harder to put your stamp on things. For me, it's the cleanness of my lines, it's how bold the colours are, and that comes from the things that have influenced me, such as um, old school graffiti culture of the 80s, sort of New York subway trains, comic books such as 2000 AD, um, X-Men, um, the old EC horror comics, the kind of things I enjoyed when I was growing up is what sort of informed the way I work. So while there are other people doing similar things to me, working in the same tools, working in the same medium, it's what informs the way I work, such as my love of horror, my love of um, superheroes and popular culture, which is what hopefully sets me aside from the other people who also work in the same medium as me. The thing I love most about being an illustrator is the, the freedom to be creative, the freedom to always be working and improving the way that I work. So if I'm working on a really boring job for a client, illustrating some flowers or a fairy, even though it's not something I enjoy doing, the, the process of illustrating is something I enjoy and I'm always able to take things from every job that I do, which then informs and helps me progress with my own personal work and it's the fact that in between these client jobs I'm able to kind of push myself and do my own work and pursue my own projects and the longer I'm doing it the more that ratio of client work and personal work shifts so I'm able to do more of my own personal work now than I was previously and I love the idea that as I go forward that just increases more and more. I get a larger fan base, I get more people knowing me for what I do and not what I do for a client, that I can become a lot more self-indulgent and really just have fun making money doing what I absolutely love. I'm David Curtis and I'm uh, a practicing painter. Uh, I make my living out of painting and have done for many years. And it was always the thing I wanted to do. And I remember my father saying, because uh, he was a writer, uh, I used to say, anything creative, it won't be easy. It'll be a hard call. And it is, because you feel, sometimes you feel a slave to it, if, if you understand me. Sometimes you feel, uh, you know, I, I, ha I, I have a guilt if I don't do this thing I do. I have to keep plugging away. And, and you always think, if I leave it alone, I'll lose the edge. I'll, lo I'll lose the touch. You know, it's kind of a, a dynamic which, which you, you feel you, you can't let go of. But I'd, I got no qualifications, so I had to get a job. So I, so I just got an apprenticeship in engineering, completely alien to what I do. But I just, I just thought, well, I'll have to make something of this, because, you, you know, a lot of painters think, oh, uh, I, can, I can paint and make a living. You can't. If you haven't got a business head on your shoulders, finance, uh, personal ability, mixing with people, a wide-ranging uh, knowledge of life, you know. And I was painting for a gallery, working high-pressure industry, just on a on a on a road to bloody destruction, really. So I said to my dad, I'm thinking of calling it a day, and because he was a creative soul as a writer, I said, "Yeah, I said, what do you think?" And he said. He said, you should do it, and you should do it now. And I just thought, he knows, he, he knows. Left it all go, suddenly realised, I'm never going to get a weight slip again. I said, this better work. <laughs>